Hey guys, it's Bruce, here just to give you a little information on what is about to happen. As you know, gaming channel, we like to play games for entertainment, of course. However, we thought that we would up the ante. What do you mean by that? You might ask, well, it's quite simple, really. I will be giving a D&D story time, and this is going to happen after each session. So, without further ado... Let's begin. Our story begins with our three main characters. A tabaxi cleric named Happy, a kinku bard named Raven, and a lizard folk rogue named Isaxel. The heroes of the story begin by going up to a merchant ship captain. The captain looks at them and notices they're very underprepared for their quest. Looks at them and says, yeah, your guys are going to need some equipment. So he gives them 50 gold each to head into town and go to the local shops to pick up their equipment. They go to town, go to the shop, and they buy what they need. However, Happy notices he only has 10 pieces of gold left. He looks at the shopkeep and asks, What else do you have for 10 gold? The shopkeep looks around the shop and just kind of says, Well, we have this rock. Happy says without a beat skipped, sold and gets the rock everyone has their equipment so they head back to the dock they meet the, the ship captain and they board the ship some time passes mind you this is a flying ship so they're up in the air some time passes and they notice an enemy ship coming towards them this is a pirate ship happy tries to be the heroic one and uh, runs over to the ship However, things don't go as planned for that. What happens is he kind of trips and falls while trying to cut the rope. A group of pirates go below deck and two pirates go towards our heroes, Happy Raven and Isaxel. Isaxel doesn't really want to do anything with this fight. He wants to avoid it as much as possible. So he climbs away, towering the ship. The only problem is, uh, Axel, Axel's afraid of heights. That leaves Happy and Raven left to deal with the other pirate. The other pirate, well, before we get to him, Raven tries to be intimidated. It doesn't go so well because the pirate doesn't fall for it and nearly kills her. Yeah, that's, um... We're off to a great start there. Happy steps in, tries his hand at intimidation, doesn't work as well. Except that there's a different outcome. You see, Happy takes one swing of his mace and pretty much bashes in the pirate skull. Like, there's spaghetti sauce all over the place. Yeah. We turn back to Axel, who is dealing with the first pirate. And the first pirate, well, is still trying to get to Isaxel. So, what does Isaxel do? Isaxel, he sneaks around to the other pirate and stabs him in the neck, killing him. So, he comes down and regroups with his friends. That's when the pirate captain appears with a group of the same pirates who went below deck earlier. Looking at the size of this pirate captain, they really don't want anything to do with him. They just, one nearly died, and the other smashed the skull in, and the other stabbed another one to death. So they're kind of not really wanting to fight right now. The pirate captain kind of looks at him and says, Wow, okay, how would you guys like to join my crew? Pirates look at each other and well, confusion, and the group actually looks at each other, kind of shrugs, and well, says, what's in it for us? Pirate Captain Well says, you don't really have anywhere to go, and you're not really a part of this ship. Captain's dead, and crew's dead, too. What do you say? They look at each other and say, well, what do we have to lose? Sure, we'll join. So the group joins his crew. They board the pirate ship. The captain introduces himself. My name is Arthur. Happy, kind of looks at him and says, well, where are we going? Arthur explains that they're going to their town. That's about really it. He says, if you guys want, there's a commonary 
down below the deck. You guys can eat and drink as much as you please. So the group does it. You go downstairs, below deck, to the common area. Isaxel notices lizard folk flags. Now the thing about Isaxel is he doesn't really get along with other people unless they're other lizard. He sees this and he goes to confront the pirates. Mainly one pirate in particular. He asks them, where did you get these flags from? Where did this ship come from? Stuff like that. The pirate is just as mostly confused as Isaxel is. He responds with, well, they've always been here. I've, I've just been with this ship a few months, and they've been here as long as I can really remember. Happy kind of notices this and steps in and says to Isaacsel, why don't we go get something to eat? How about have a, you know, a drink? Calm down a little bit. Isaacsel, still disgruntled about it, hesitantly agrees to go with Happy. Says, I'm just going to eat. I don't want a drink. So they eat and drink, and they end up going to sleep. In the morning, that's when the ship lands. The group wakes up, and they leave the ship. Arthur says, follow me, and starts to take him into town. That's when they go to Arthur's house. They see a guy standing out front. This is Bartholomew. Happy is the one to annoy him first by saying, what's up, Bart? The group kind of looks at him and is like, well, why would you do that? They go into the ship, the captain's house, and that's when a much bigger gentleman appears. Arthur introduces him as the captain of the pirate. Group kind of looks around and is confused. We thought you were the pirate captain. Arthur responds, I am, but of that division. I'm what you would call the uh, second in command. So Arthur looks at him and says, these three would like to join our crew. The pirate captain is confused as to say, we're kind of full. Why do you want them to join? Arthur responds with, well, they killed three of our men. We have the room. Power captain says, well, all right. Welcome aboard. Hi, guys. I'm Mel. I am the editor of this video, and I'm also the DM of the campaign that you're listening to. So, a few things to clear up about what Bruce was talking about. The flag that was found... The symbol that Isaacsel found, that was actually a, the emblem of the pirate. And it wasn't a lizard folk, it was a dragon. Isaacsel was just hyper fixating. It's fine, but need to make that clear. Also, they didn't go to Arthur's house, they were heading to the captain's house. With that said, I have a few things to continue with. So the captain's name was Ezekiel, Ezekiel Moore. And... When the players left his office after being accepted, for the most part, they encounter an elderly woman named Hannah. She's assumed to be Ezekiel's mother, and she also gave a bit of a lore dump to the crew. And that lore dump was essentially things like her husband founded the town, they're all pirates, a bunch of information that I should have realized that the players did not care about. That's my fault. So when they leave the house, they go into town and they're now free to explore. Despite being given direction, they seem to be at a loss on what to do. Despite the fact that I told them, or pretty much gave them enough lore, that they could leave town or go explore the mountains that are rumored to house a dragon that is the patron to the whole Moore family. But no, no, they, they decide to go to the bar. At the bar. That's where they all do their own thing. Raven decides to play a little bit for the locals. Isaacsel, having been established now that they don't like people, has gone off to just hide, pretty much. And Happy decides to go look for work at the, at the request board. At the request board, he finds a simple goblin extermination mission, and they all decide to go out the next day for that. So... They start heading towards the mountains to go meet the person who wrote the request. And when they get there, they meet a guy that Bruce failed to mention, which is the captain's son, also named Zeke. Sorry, I know that's confusing. 
but young Z. He tells him he already sent someone out there to take the job, but they're taking a bit longer than expected. So could you just, you know, check on them? When they go out there, they immediately spot four goblins standing at the front of a cave. And they decide not to hesit hesitate and they go right into it. When they run into the fight, everything's going fine. Nobody's getting too badly hurt. And about halfway through the fight, they witness a goblin be tossed out of the entrance of the cave and a mysterious man emerges. Thankfully, before a mysterious man can do anything else, they finish off the end of the goblins. And he introduces himself as Ira. And they aren't particularly happy that they got help, but they accept it. And they head back to Zeke's, and from there, they head back to the bar. And that is where we leave off this story. We hope you guys liked it. We hope you enjoyed it. Like for more. There's definitely going to be more coming. So, thanks again for watching. Hit that subscribe button and hit that bell button to get notified whenever we upload a brand new video. See you guys next time. By the way, the house that I built in The Sims is actually for a family that I made that is supposed to be all of us here at The Noobs. So, if you are interested in downloading that house to your sims i am going to put it up on my gallery and i will have a link to it below thank you guys